apologize in advance for the, the tuningness of my banjo. Um, I'm having a difficult time keeping this thing in tune. However, so the vamping, we're going to start on this one. When I say one, um, this is the first note for a G key. So I'm starting with this. Alright, so let me just swivel this a little so you can see a little better. So I'm starting on, so one is actually the fifth fret, and I'm doing a four finger vamp position here. So you can see, starting with this, starting with this G. It's the first note, right? So now I'm going to the second note. I'm just playing my my ring finger, so I'm moving it. but it's not five frets away. It's the fifth note. It's actually the twelfth fret. So it's seven frets total. So I'm starting on the, the fifth fret is my one in the key of G. So my ring finger is on this fifth fret on the fourth string, which is a G. So I got whole step, second note, whole step, third note, half step, fourth note. And to get to my fifth note, I go to a whole step. So remember that in an octave, going from a one, two, three, four, five, four, three, sorry, two, one, I go whole step to two. I don't actually play the, the full chord. Three, whole step, half step between three and four. Now I play that full chord. And then a five is another whole step, and I play the full chord. So I get this vamp. One more time. Starting on the one. Going to the second note, two. Third note, three. Fourth note, four. And there I get to play a full C chord. Fourth note goes to the fifth note, which is a whole step. And back to my one. So first note, fourth note, fifth note, first note, along with the chords. So my vamping pattern is a one. fifth note, I could actually do a D7. And to get that, I just simply, instead of doing my full four finger, pick up my, end, my, my pinky and I put down my index over the bottom two strings. And that gives me my D7. Here's a C7. And here is a G7.